A tragic story that's been making headlines recently, involving Riot Fest, the legendary thrash metal band Slayer, and the passing of one of the festival attendees, Stephen Schult. During Slayer's headlining performance, 58-year-old Stephen Schult, who was attending Riot Fest with friends and family, sustained severe injuries. His friends reported that they lost track of him as he went deeper into the crowd. Stephen was seen in the hospital the next day with serious head injuries. Sadly, he passed away on October 3rd. According to one of his friends who spoke to the Chicago Tribune, Schultz had scrapes and bruises on his arms and legs, and his injuries appeared to suggest that he may have been trampled. This tragic incident has raised many questions about what really happened. Now, here's where things get complicated. After Schultz's death, Riot Fest issued a statement offering condolences to his family and friends, but they also took the opportunity to address the rumors about his injuries. According to the festival, their on-site medical team responded to the situation before Slayer even took the stage. Riot Fest clarified that Schultz's medical emergency occurred near the Ferris wheel area, away from the main crowd gathered for Slayer's performance. In the statement, they outright denied that Schultz's injuries were related to the Slayer crowd, which has fueled further speculation. However, some of Schultz's friends believe otherwise. Based on the nature of his injuries, they argue that he must have been trampled during the Slayer set. They claim his bruises and head trauma suggest that he was caught in a dangerous situation, possibly a mosh pit or surge in the crowd. And we all know that metal concerts, especially for a band like Slayer, can get intense in the front rows. While autopsy results have been inconclusive, this difference in opinion between Riot Fest and Schultz's friends has left many wondering if the festival's safety protocols were enough, or if something more chaotic was happening within the Slayer crowd that night. This brings up an important discussion about safety at large music festivals. Riot Fest, like most major festivals, has a medical team on site, crowd control measures, and safety protocols in place. But incidents still happen. The festival claimed that Schultz's medical emergency occurred before Slayer hit the stage, and not within the crowd where things were getting rowdy. However, fans who've been to metal shows know how quickly things can escalate, especially during a headlining set like Slayer's. As of now, Slayer hasn't commented on the situation. The band is known for drawing some of the most energetic and intense crowds in metal, and this tragic incident has certainly cast a shadow over their highly anticipated return. In the end, the loss of Steven Schultz is a tragedy, and our hearts go out to his family and friends. The conflicting accounts between his loved ones and Riot Fest leave a lot of questions unanswered, and only time will tell if further investigations shed light on exactly what happened. Take your power,